This is um, a quick rundown on how to use the Canon C300 custom picture profile. So the first thing to do is go to the custom picture button on the side of the camera. Press that and it opens up the custom picture profile. So the first one you can see there is CP1. And you can go through and select these. These go through to 7. And all of these are the same as standard as default but you can edit all of these. The next profile you've got on there is Cinema 8 which can't be altered and the same for EOS standard that matches the um, Canon EOS standard uh, picture profile. Those two can't be edited. All the rest of them can. That's SD so just signifying it comes from the SD card um, just in case you want to load profiles that um, you get from someone else. So if you go through to CP1 select that scroll down onto CP, click that and then you can see these are all the things you can alter inside that profile and probably the most important thing to alter is the gamma curve. They, all of these profiles are actually set to normal 1 as default so you go into those you can choose normal 1 all of these different gamma curves select whichever gamma curve you want if we select that you can see that's Cine2 which is now associated with this profile up here CP1 as well as the gamma curve there's all the other features you'd expect that you can alter yourself to get the own pro the, the, the own um, your own profile kind of profile you want once you've made the alterations and you're happy with the picture you can rename it or just keep it as CP1 come out of it and you've got that profile saved and once you've done that you can also see uh, on the side of the camera there that you've got CP1 so you know which profile you're in.